take you where the forecast is ahead. But tonight, some new important details in a brutal attack in Queens. The 68 year old woman who was thrown down the steps as she was going to church Sunday is now communicating, but not yet in full sentences. Meanwhile, New York cops could be closing in on the attacker. That's because they found an important clue from the woman's stolen car. I'm with news reporter Jim Dolan with our lead story tonight. St. Demetrios in Jamaica Hills was empty tonight. A Bible study class just ended, but the Bible surely had no explanation for what happened here to a 68 year old woman headed to church on Sunday. I almost cried. I was, it was devastating. Daniel Kafaro is Irene's. We will only use her first name, Irene's nephew. He told Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson that two days after the savage attack, his aunt still has a long recovery ahead. She was in and out of consciousness yesterday. Today she's awake, but she's not talking. She's not verbal. She could say like one word. Irene, a mother of two adult children, suffered a fractured skull when she landed on the pavement. The suspect took her purse, and after he ran away, he took her car as well. Irene is 68 years old. She was going to Sunday Mass. It's an animal. He deserves to be locked up. The full book thrown at him. Police recovered the victim's car just a few miles from the church. They were able to recover a fingerprint from that car. And police sources say they know who they're looking for. In Jamaica Hills, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.